Let's take a look at the main user interface elements. The main toolbar provides quick access to tools and dialogs for a number of common tasks. The command panel groups six individual panels for creating and editing objects in your scene. Each panel contains commands and parameters grouped by function in rollouts, which you can expand and collapse. To scroll through a panel, drag either an empty space or the narrow scroll bar on the right edge. Use the time and animation controls to create animation and view it by dragging the time slider along the track bar. The status bar controls display prompts and information about your scene. You can visualize your scene from different points of view. The top, front, and left viewports contain orthographic views. These views are 2D representations of your 3D scene. The perspective viewport, by contrast, most closely resembles human vision. To switch the active viewport between normal and full screen size, click it and then press Alt-W. The view cube lets you quickly navigate between views from within a single viewport. To change the current view, click any of the defined areas of the view cube. You can also drag the view cube to set a custom view. To navigate within your scene, use either the viewport controls or the steering wheels, which you can toggle by pressing Shift W. The steering wheels combine many common viewport controls into a single interface constrained to your mouse cursor. There are different types of wheels, each with its own purpose. To use the wheel, place your cursor over the desired wedge and click or drag to activate its tool. To close the wheel, right-click in the viewport. You can view your scene using different viewport rendering methods. To toggle wireframe mode, press F3. To toggle wireframe edges over your shaded model, press F4. Right-clicking in the viewport opens the quad menu, which provides quick access to common commands related to your current selection. In the next movie, we'll create objects using the Create panel.